Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm just kind of going crazy with this new system. Um, my plan is to make my fest beer, but make 15 gallons of it. And <laughs> I knew this is gonna be one of the first things I ever made in this because it's my favorite recipe. But what we're gonna do is actually split up the batch when we're fermenting. So 10 gallons is gonna go into the brew built with the Hornendal Kvike yeast. So we're gonna see how that goes. Gonna ferment it. Um, Probably, I'm gonna try to keep it at 75 and do pressurized fermentation because I just got my PRV. And then the other five gallons we're actually gonna do with the Safale 23, which is the uh, like German lager yeast. And I'm also gonna do that under pressure and I'm going to keep it lower though. Actually, how am I gonna do that? Shit, I didn't think this through. Um, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to do it and I'm going to ferment it in my laundry room. Hopefully the husband doesn't get mad. All right. So I have 10 gallons heating up in my claw hammer, 20 gallon because, um, you know, you can only fit so much grain in. So, uh, we're going to do a step mash and that means we're basically going to start it. 138, go to 156, and then like 172 or something. I have five gallons of sparge water heating up in the old claw hammer. And yeah, I still haven't milled or done anything. And this is almost up to mash temp. So excuse my brevity. Okay, so for this 15 gallon fest beer, we're gonna do 29 pounds and five ounces of mecha grade under modified uh, Pilsner. Um, this is great uh, to do a step mash with. That's why we're doing it. And it's just a delicious malt. Um, so that's 13.3 kilograms. And then we're doing four pounds and six ounces or two kilograms of Vienna. So let's get going because my uh, strike temp is already hit. Actually, I didn't even set the strike temp. So scrap that, we're using 12 pounds of Gateway and 18 pounds of North Star Pills. Oh well. This seems off. That's why I'm checking. I guess that's right. It just seems like so much malt. Well, honestly, I think we're going to have to get started and then just kind of dump in as we go. We still need 10 pounds. I don't even know if this will fit in there. I've made the executive decision to only use 23 pounds of gateway malt, don't use 30. I looked at my past batches and it looks like I pretty much overshot my gravity as I usually do. Um, so if I decrease it to 23, it's supposed to be a 5.1% beer, which I hope will get us like a 5.3, 5.4% beer. I've got like three or four more buckets like this to go. So I'm gonna shut off the camera. So we're gonna do our first um, step at 30 minutes at 138, which is 69 degrees, I think. Is it 59 or 69? 59, 59 degrees. Our next step is 69 degrees. So as you can see, this is completely full. I'm gonna have to mash some in my old machine. So we're gonna let that sit. And I just put my screen in here and we're just gonna go for it. It's at 147, which is gonna be fine. And I still have more to go. All right, so we're going into our second step, which is 156 or 69 degrees Celsius. So I'm ramping these up now. Um, I have no idea why I thought 
how much how much grain was it was supposed to be? It's supposed to be 33 pounds of grain. And we're doing 24 pounds of grain, but I don't know why I thought 15 gallons of water and 24 pounds of grain would fit in here. Um, so we have a second mash going, and we're going to sparge with that, and just kind of sparge until it works. I don't know what I'm doing anymore, guys. <laughs> this was not my smartest move. Okay, so it's been half an hour, and now we need to raise this up to... 168 or 75 and a half degrees and that will sit for 10 minutes and then we can start draining and hope for the best Alrighty, the true test uh. all right so i have this block and tackle on here so that it doesn't feel like this is 100 pounds. I don't know how much this actually weighs, but I have a feeling it's close to my max. I'm gonna do this pretty slowly. There's a lot of liquid in here and I'm just trying to let it drain out as I pull. You guys can probably hear that. All right. So this is going to drain. I'm actually going to pull this off so that I can do kind of a fake sparge. So to do my fake sparge, um, I'm going to attach this basically to the top of here and just let the wort drain through. I don't know if this is kosher at all. We're going to see if it'll work. I'm so nervous. Seems to work. So I'm draining from under the, uh, basically screen in there. Uh, the screen sits a little bit above the pump. So I'm probably gonna do enough to like see the top of the grain bed dry and then let it drain more and then continue pumping. Is it necessary to go over the grain bed? Probably not. This should be technically a much lower sugar concoction than this though. So it should kind of act as a sparge to wash all the extra sugary stuff down. And I don't know if you guys have heard me complain about my light switch in here, but it is a dimmable light switch on a non dimmable light. So it keeps turning off. Also it's motion sensor, but doesn't work. Super fun. All right, so as this is draining, I'm actually gonna sparge in here a bit with uh, 170 degree water. Just through my colander for fun. This is about less than a gallon. So I'm gonna let that drain through that grain bed pump it over here, let it drain through this grain bed. I don't know if you can see how much clearer it is coming out now. So we're at about 14 gallons right now. I'm going to take a uh, pre-boil gravity reading and just kind of see where we're at and if we need to add any water. Wow. Yeah, we're gonna have to add some water. Jesus Christ. All right, we're at 16.1 bricks. 
So 16.1 bricks is 1.068. We were going for, like, I want a 5.6% beer, so we're going to go a little higher than... So our pre-boil gravity reading is supposed to be 1.049. See how much water we're supposed to add. So it says to add five gallons. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I think I'm going to add two gallons. And I'm just going to pour them on top of here. But that means I got to go heat up some water. All right, we ended up at about 14 and a half. So I'm gonna add to 16 and a half. Let's see where that gets us. So now we're at about 14 bricks. I'm actually gonna turn on my heat so that it can get up to boiling. So 14 bricks is 1.059, of course. So it looks like our ABV is gonna be 6.3. I guess I could have done like a lot less grain. Now we know. All right, so we're just about boiling and I'm gonna measure my hops. Um, I'm not using saws this time, I'm just gonna use uh, Magnum in both hop additions. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do 1.4 grams at 60 minutes and at 15 minutes, um, which is 38 grams. Um, so yeah. All right, we're boiling and now I'm scared. Okay, so this is boiling, obviously. So I'm gonna put in my first top addition. Hopefully that keeps some of the craziness down. And I'll see you guys back here in 45 minutes. All right, so we've got 15 minutes to go. So here's our second hop edition of Magnum at 1.4 ounces or 39 grams. All right, this is all done. I'm going to cut my heat and start chilling it. So I'm going to go ahead and start my pump up. All right, so this is about 75 degrees or so, and we're gonna transfer half, well, we're gonna transfer three quarters of, we're gonna transfer two thirds of this into my brew belt right here, and then the other third into my Firm King pressurized fermenter thing. Um, this guy, I just got a pressure release valve. This pressurizes to one bar, um, so that's like 14 PSI. And I'm gonna just fill this up till I see it hit the 10 gallon mark and then go on to the next one. We've got about 15 gallons it looks like in here. So this one I'm going to, well, it's got the um, Escarpment Labs Hornendale, Hornendale Kvike yeast in it and I'm going to ferment it at around 80. And then the other one I'm gonna throw in my laundry room and ferment it at about 70, but I'm going to use the German ale yeast that I use, uh, Safiel 23. So we're gonna kinda of do a taste test for these. All right, while this is going, I'm gonna add my Safiel 23. And once this is all filled, I'm just going to pressurize this to about 10 PSI, throw it in my laundry room, let it sit at 70 degrees. This will be pressurized to about 15 PSI. It'll stay in here at about 80 degrees and we will see the results relatively soon. Thank you guys for watching and kind of 
being there with me as I sort through what the hell I'm doing. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. I do not think I will brew a batch this big again, to be honest.